once you've logged into your dashboard in WordPress, you're going to see a number of different things. And the purpose of this short tutorial is to kind of explain what you're looking at. First off is the dashboard. It has all sorts of information about your website. And you can change what you look at by going to screen options and just unchecking or checking boxes. Uh, so we can actually remove some of these different options if we're not interested in having all sorts of other news. And you can also drag and move different pieces to different places. Over here on the left, you'll see some different options. You have posts and pages. Those are the two things I'd like to talk a little bit about and, and then let you explore the others on your own. So a post is a blog post. And this is where your content is displayed in reverse chronology, meaning that whatever you published most recently is on top and it pushes down everything else. So for example, here on the Web Slam, uh, for the blog post category timeline, the most recent thing, July 27th, and then going back further in time, July 19th, 17th, and then June 10th, you can go back in time uh, you know, and each one of these blog posts gives a little blurb, has perhaps a, a highlight image. You click on it and it gives you more information. So that is a blog post and where you access all of those is here. You can either click on just look at all posts or you can look on specific um, categories and, and what have you. The second thing that a, a WordPress site is based off of is something called pages. A pages are static. Um, they don't change, they don't uh, push down you know, the older content for newer content, it's just a simple page. So in, in this example, you have a page where I've embedded a video and that's all it is. It, this doesn't change over time, it doesn't push down content, it's just a video that I've embedded. Uh, and if you edit the page, you'll see that all I've taken is that HTML code from the Vimeo uh, site and embedded it here in the text. You also have the visual, um, but again, if you're going to be playing with the HTML code, the text uh, is, the, is the best place to do that. You'll also notice over here on the left that there are some other things about appearance, which is where you can select and change themes. Um, you can either install a new theme or whatever themes have already been uh, activated on your site. Uh, as you're installing themes, you can search and, and have lots of different options there. Um, the same is true for plugins. Um, you can search in plugins. And one thing that you'll notice with WordPress, and this is one of the reasons why an open source platform like this is so powerful, is it has this editor feature on, on almost any piece of code uh, that's out there. You can click on editor and it gives you access directly to all of the CSS and all of the PHP that makes the site function. So for example, here in, in this uh, the one pager theme by Woo Themes, I can actually look at all of the different uh, CSS code, which as you learned the other day, uh, you know, it lets you control the look and feel of a website. And I can easily modify any piece of code that I'm interested in doing so. Um, if you've installed plugins, you can do the same thing with those plugins. There are lots of other settings here as well. And again, as with, with all things, we just encourage you to really explore and look around, see what's interesting to you. And as you have things that you specifically want to change on your website, you'll be able to find out uh, and figure it out along the way and, and really learn to, to navigate this uh, WordPress backend. But this admin panel uh, you know, is really based off the idea of posts and pages. Uh, and then be able to change themes and other settings and plugins. Uh, so go ahead and explore and experiment. Uh, and remember that on the Web Slam, you're going to be actually teaching the other nonprofits how to manipulate and update content so that they don't have to rely on getting contact with you every time they want to change to their website later after Web Slam.